hello, the internet. Today I'm doing a weird, um, how do I explain it? A video that I normally wouldn't do on this channel, but I'm gonna do it anyways. It's a theory about Loki. Real quickly, if you haven't seen the show, watch it. Because this, um, might, uh, contain theories of some kind. So, Loki. Marvel's, uh, newest series. So, what I think is gonna happen. So, if you don't know, there's like a clock thing. Here, I'll, I'll do an image of her. Real quickly, uh, before I continue and show you the image, all of these images in the show is all Marvels and Disney's, so they're not mine. Don't think they're mine. So yeah, uh, the clock lady, or as in the show, known as Miss Minute, uh, this is her, explains that um, the reason Loki ended up there is because he messed up timeline. So, real quickly, um, in Endgame, yes, there's spoilers for that too, in Endgame, they travel back in time. Uh, the Tetract falls, but it changes because Loki, instead of being sent to Asgard, takes the, what's it called again? The Tesseract and uh, teleports. But in Avengers, he's supposed to be some task guard. So when he teleports, technically, let's call them time police. Uh, they tell, look, not teleport to him. They travel through him through like a light source of some kind. And they capture him and continue what was supposed to happen instead of him stealing the Tesseract. So, Miss Minute uh, says that um, basically when Loki's in line, well, not line, but Miss Minute explains why the time police are there. So it says that there was like tons of different timelines fighting to be the main one. And, uh, how do I explain it? Three... Uh, Powerful beings use their powers uh, to create main timeline. And if someone changes the main timeline, they get captured, brought to the uh, place where technically they're put on trial. And if they can't defend themselves, they're destroyed. Yeah, fun show. She says, yeah, three powerful beings, except magic and powers you can't use them where they're putting where they travel to put the people who break the timeline on trial which means they might have been so powerful enough that how to explain it uh that they were able to use their magic or powers there what I think is going to happen is something's going to uh, go inside, let's call it time dimension or time trials, a time, the time trials place, and it's going to be so powerful or magical that it's able to use its magic or power there because there everything is a time or mechanical related. But also, I think that everything, okay, everything has to be powered by something. I think somehow there is a magic source there that's also blocking everything else from using their powers. So what I'm saying is, technically, they might be uh, having something really powerful there that's able to use its powers to make it... Okay, uh, how do I explain it simpler? 
they have something powerful that's so strong it makes it where none else can use its powers there. And what I think is something's going to be more powerful than that. Enter the time trials place. And then it's going to destroy everything. And Loki somehow has to save the day. So yeah, that that's basically it. That's my theory on what's going to happen in Loki. If I'm right... That will make me happy. I bet I will be right. And if I'm not, I will be mad. Okay, so yeah, bye. I'm just like gonna put uh, other... Uh, right now I'm stalling so I can like show another video. Or like, um... Or like my channel somewhere around here. I, I don't know. So, uh... Yeah, subscribe, like... I might post some more Fury videos. Okay. Bye.